Good afternoon, YouTube. I am the City Prepper. Today is March 14, 2017. Today's new topic is going to be a self-reliant topic, how to make a penny stove. A penny stove is relatively simple to make, and it's good for two reasons. One, it's a heat source. Two, it's a way for you to, to heat up food, cook food, boil water. It's an instrument in that vessel. So without further ado, I will explain further. Penny stove is real simple. You need two aluminum cams, you need a fuel source, you need steel wool, you need a ignition source, and you need a cutting instrument. So while I was off screen, I was able to prefab one, and I'm going to go step by step on how to actually make it. At the end, this is going to be your finished product. You're going to need two aluminum cans. They're going to be used, okay? You, you want these empty. You're going to need matches, you're going to need steel wool, okay? With your cutting instrument, you're going to cut about a quarter of the way up from the bottom. You do that on both cans. Before you do it on the second can, you want the can hole because you want to be able to get a good grip on it. You're going to be putting holes about an inch apart so it looks like this. And you're going to have a final hole in the middle. So once you have the two halves, you're going to put the steel wool inside of the, uh, the two halves. Once the steel wool is inside, you're going to compress the two together. Once you have these two together, you're going to add your fuel source. I chose to use Zippo lighter fluid. You can use rubbing alcohol, you can use gasoline, you can use anything that's an accelerant. So you're going to add your fuel source. And again, it's very important to have the steel wool inside. The steel wool acts as a heating element. Once you have adequate fuel source, again, you don't want to use too much because you want to be able to have it for further, but again, you need enough to have flames come out the side. You're going to ignite your can. And the reason why they call it a penny stove is because you're going to place a penny in the middle where you put your your fuel, your accelerant in because then it allows the outside holes to have the flame come out. This is very useful because now you're able to rest something on top and you're able to heat it up without extinguishing the flame because in order for the flame to stay lit you need oxygen along with the fuel source. So now, depending on how much fuel you, fuel you have put in, you're able to have a sustainable, long-lasting fire, a heating source to cook, to boil water, whatever you're using it for, at the same time staying warm. Psychologically, this is a good tool during a situation where it's either grid down or you're stuck outside in the cold because this is psychologically going to help you because of the fact that now you have a way to heat up the water, the, the snow to make water, and you have a way to stay warm through a cold night. These are simple little tools to help you along in order to be self-reliant, in order to be a prepping individual to thrive and survive. Again, thank you very much for my new subscribers. Thank you very much for my current subscribers. Please stay safe out there from the New York City area. Please stay safe out there wherever you are. Thank you again for tuning in and stay tuned for further. Have a good day.